Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 6 as the Mongols. So I disabled the interface mod because it looks like it still has some conflicts with Rise and Fall. Unfortunately, because that means I won't be able to use the production queue, which for me is a crucial feature. But anyway, now we can actually see the world tracker properly. So I moved Magnus to our new city because it was losing loyalty otherwise. And we can still try to capture one more. That's exactly what we're going to do. So, let's move into position. We do have the battering ram, so the city walls shouldn't be a big problem. We might need another unit, but we'll see about that. Also, we got four builds on the builders. Let's put them to good use. Can we buy that marsh? Yes, we can. Actually, wait, minus one turns until border growth? <laughs> okay. The city is occupied right now, and it will be until we peace out. But I'd like to remove that marsh to boost our population a little. Still more barbarians over here. They will probably attack us though, yep. They certainly will. Alright, that's fine I suppose. I don't really mind. So, next city. Let's get started, shall we? There's the battering ram. Maybe don't attack with it just yet. And Charot Archer needs to repair. Our research is a little bit slow, but we are working on a campus. That should help. And that is too many barbarians right now. Yeah, we need to back up a little bit more than this. There has to be some barbarian camp nearby. But right now, we are a little bit too busy to deal with that. Volley. Can we attack? It should be fine. We'll lose some health, but we'll be okay. Here. 28 damage to the city. I don't think I can move the Charot Archer out of the city just yet. Because we'll lose loyalty if we do that. That was a little bit too close right there. Yeah, that was way too close. Let's just move into the city. They will pillage a few tiles, but not much I can do to prevent that. One more envoy. And back to the siege. Stay fortified. This will take a few turns, but there's no rush. We will definitely get to the city. Can we move the Charot Archer? Yeah, see? We will lose some loyalty. But in 25 turns, we'll be done. Let's just move in to get more damage. Alright, are we the Suzerain? Uh, yes, we are. Okay then, so that's plus two loyalty per turn in cities for each encampment district building. That will definitely come in handy at some point. So it's worth having. Next. What do you want? <laughs> you would make a good Spartan. Yeah, alright. If you say so. She will probably change her mind once we peace out. And here's the problem. I can kill the horsemen, but then I will lose my spearmen. Which I'm not too excited about. Especially since he already has one promotion. I just have to let them pillage that, I don't have much of a choice. We can send the other guy to help. Perhaps he's not necessary for the siege. Let's find out. He probably is. Okay, there's a promotion. Alright, one more attack. Here. We should be able to take it in like two turns max. I'm pretty sure that will be enough. I'm just a little bit worried about these barbarians. They will slow us down. Fortunately, we have a builder who can repair things. I just won't be able to kill them just yet. And we cannot use city bombardment because we don't have any. Now we can pick up a promotion. Like so. Let's see. Yeah, okay, at least one more turn. Let's just fortify and heal up. I can't leave the city. 
the campus is about to finish. Hopefully they won't pillage it, because that would be pretty bad. They seem to be leaving. Alright then. And we need more units. As well as a library and ancient walls, but we still have a policy active. That makes unit recruitment cheaper. Let's get another spearman. That will help against horsemen. Now he's moving towards our archer. Yeah, I don't like that. Not at all. Is this going to be enough? It should be enough on the next turn. Or maybe even on this one. Yeah, we can take it right now. There we go, it's ours. And that also gives us Apprenticeship Eureka. Nice. And now we can probably peace out. Let's have a look. Get over here. Oh, not yet. Alright, no problem. I can wait. How's loyalty? It's going up here. And now we should go back to that other city. No problem. We will. Delegation is fine. We'll probably go to war at some point, because that is going to happen, but whatever. And a scout just spotted our city. Yeah, we need to find the barbarian camp that's sending all these units. Let's just go and do that next. But we have to leave one unit as a garrison. Can we peace out now? Yes, we can. Alright, we obviously want both the cities. And gold. All the gold. That's 22 gold per turn? No. That's too much, apparently. 12. Accept. Yes, thank you, friend. We are totally friends, guys. And now we can improve our infrastructure a little bit <laughs> before starting another war. Because we are slightly behind. Let's maybe check the rankings. Oh, we lost a spearman. No, we lost the heavy chariot. Alright, that's fine, actually. So, swap these two. One down. And let's go find the barbarian camp. Is loyalty going to be fine now? Yep, full loyalty in turn turns. We need some help against these barbarians. An archer will do. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying that I can't even leave my own city right now. Not happy about that part. This is still not enough to kill it. But at least it can't kill us. Okay, looking good. Loyalty is still fine. Where the heck is that camp? It has to be somewhere close. Somewhere very, very close. We'll find it. It's fine. So, next up, the library. We need more science. How's our science right now, anyway? Let's have a look. Obviously not very good. I can't see how many techs I have. Okay, we got 12 techs. I can't see how many text Cyrus has. 16 on Tomeris. Yep, we need to catch up a little. We are second in army strength, so that's obviously a good thing. You guys need to heal up. And kill that stupid horseman. That's not enough. There, he's down. And we need to replace our trader. Maybe get some roads between our cities. That would be a good idea. And here comes another scout. Seriously now? How many scouts are they going to send? Way too many is the answer, apparently. Back up into our border. And we got the luxury to repair. You are going down. One more tile to repair and then we can go get the cattle. I don't think I can kill that scout. We can do some damage, but not enough to kill it. Actually, no, we can kill it. I don't feel entirely comfortable attacking Morning. with a unit that has red health, not bring you but in this case, it was justified. Next up, 
Either apprenticeship or we'll just go directly for stirrups. It's 45 turns, a little bit too much maybe. Construction wouldn't be a bad idea. Iron working not so much, because we don't have iron, unfortunately. So yeah, I'm thinking construction. It leads to military engineering, which is required to unlock Niter. We don't need celestial navigation. It's kind of tempting to just go for apprenticeship. We are going to need production. Okay, construction, apprenticeship and then probably stirrups. Hopefully we'll be able to speed up our tech rate a little bit. Speaking of tech rate... 20 turns for a compass. Let's grab the water mill first. And back up to heal first. Where the heck is that barbarian camp? It can't be far. They are coming from somewhere. What do they want? Well, she likes us, apparently. And Medivalera. Right, so we will get a Dark Age, unfortunately. But that's fine. What do we want? Good question. Probably the first one. Plus one era score each time we trigger a Eureka boost. And plus one era score for constructing a building that provides science as the base yield. We'll want to work on that anyway. That seems to make the most sense. And our next civic is going to be defensive tactics. I don't think we'll get a boost for that, but we need it for feudalism. So that's what it's going to be. Yep. That's what it's going to be. New city-state quest. Train a catapult. Uh, I don't see that quest though. I think it's already gone. Is it? Alright, never mind. Trigger inspiration for military training. We could try to do that later. Now, where the heck is that barbarian camp? We should have found it by now. Alright. Two more builds on the builder. I might actually keep him around with one build just to be able to repair our tiles in case more barbarians show up and they certainly might still nothing they have to be somewhere around here we'll find them don't worry but we should also go to war again with someone it might not be a bad idea to finish off Scythia because they will be a pretty easy target at this point and we could take some nice cities from them. I'm strongly considering that. Repair the granary and how are tile assignments? I'm just going to set food and production priority. Like this. Okay. There we go, we found the barbarian camp. And a decent spot for a city perhaps? Yeah, this is actually a decent spot for a city. I think we should grab it before somebody else does. And they definitely will if we let them. I can tell you as much. We could get a coastal city. And another scout. This time he won't get very far. And he certainly won't get a chance to find our cities. Let's grab a settler then, shall we? That's seven turns only. I can live with that. Grab the cattle. We could harvest it, but I don't think I really want to. No, not really. Cattle is nice. And we found Alexander. Or rather, he found us. Okay. Where do you think you're going? Let me ask leave then. Oh, Matterhorn! To pay a tribute of respect and admiration That's actually a pretty nice one. Desired Matterhorn. 
Because land combat units who move next to Matterhorn ignore hills for the rest of the game and gain plus free combat strength when fighting in hills. That is a very nice natural wonder. Now we are definitely going to settle here. <laughs> oh hey, another scout. Where are you going? This is looking pretty good. So I suppose the city should be like right here on the hill. Yep, I think so. The ship will still be in range. Modern Horn will be in range. We'll have wheat immediately after settling. It does provide plus one culture to adjacent tiles, and we won't get all of them, but that's okay. It's acceptable. And there it is, Alpine training. That is one of the most useful natural wonders we could possibly get for this game. Seeing how we will be playing very aggressively. Pretty gold. Three more turns for the settler. Hopefully no one is going to beat us to it. I will keep my units in this general area. In case Gorgo sends a settler. If Gorgo sends a settler, we are just going to declare war on Gorgo. Yep, pretty much. I need that wonder. I'm not letting anyone else have it. 13 turns. Yeah, loyalty is still a bit of a problem in there. That's mostly because we are in a dark age, which generates less loyalty per population. We could try to grow the city faster, because each population point gives you more loyalty. Delegation is fine. Create with the heart. How much time until the next era? A lot of turns. Yeah, this is going to be one long dark age. All right. I suppose that's fine. We need to get an encampment here or something like that. We'll see. We can always just let it flip and then reconquer it ourselves. No problem with that. It's not exactly hard to do. We'll keep an eye on it. Ten turns now. Yeah, we are getting quite a lot of loyalty pressure. As you can see. Minus 20 pressure from nearby citizens. And we are getting minus 6 loyalty per turn. And that's with Magnus inside the city. It would be much worse if he wasn't in here. I think we'll just have to reconquer the city once it flips. That seems to be the case. Okay, we'll do that. Like I said, it's not exactly hard to do. So I don't mind. As for our capital... There are a lot of things we need right now. We still need the government plaza. We still need a trader. Let's maybe grab a trader first, that's only six turns. Now, I could switch from defensive tactics to something else, but I don't think we'll be the target of a war declaration anytime soon. Probably best to just finish it the hard way. This might take a little bit of time to move that settler. Next up, Monument, I would say. Yeah, Monument will give us extra loyalty. If only we could buy it. We can actually buy it. How about we do that? 360 gold, alright. It won't completely fix the loyalty problem, but it will give us some extra loyalty in here. And then... 35 turns for a builder. Yeah, that's a little bit too much for my taste. How about we just buy one? There. There goes most of our gold. And I'm thinking encampment district. But where do we build that? I would prefer to build it on one of the tiles that we don't actually own yet. So let's pass for now. We'll go for something cheap, because this city barely has any production at the moment. 
said he had announced us. I wonder why. Totally no reason for them to do that. It's not like we took any of their cities, right? No idea why they would denounce us. Yeah, this is getting pretty bad. We need to get there. Alright, let's move. Come on, people. You're about to get some work to do. As for the builder... We can improve the bananas. That will speed up our population growth. And again, we need population to increase loyalty. So that seems like a no-brainer. And let's prepare for the siege. Kind of sucks having to siege our own city, but whatever. We'll do what we have to do. Right, so the hill right here will be our city location, like I already said. Six more turns. Okay, then. Plus two gold from the bananas. Well, this looks fine. It's not growing. Which is slightly disappointing. Okay. Can we get any deal with Scythia? Probably not. No, I guess not. Never mind. But we can probably get a deal with Cyrus. No? Well, okay. If you say so. Granary. We need the cities to grow. Clearly. Why could you just not move across the river? That makes no sense whatsoever. Oh, he had one movement point left, that's why. So, I guess we are in positions. Now we just wait a few turns. Six more turns. I suppose I could speed it up by moving the unit out of the city. <laughs> There's feudalism boost for six farms. Alright, you guys just wait for your turn. And that's going to be our new city. It's a pretty damn good one. We got two tiles with wheat in range. We got horses, we got sheep, we got quite a few hills for production. We got crab in range. Alright, there it is. That's our fourth city now. And we'll open with a monument. We got a nice tile to work. I like it. As for our capital... Let's grab a quick builder. That's only three turns, and we kind of need them. And what about the trader? Doesn't look like we can get more than plus one hammer. We can get plus eight gold. Plus six gold, plus one science... no. Any quests for trade routes? I don't think so, no. Plus one hammer, plus four gold is not too bad. We could also get some roads between our own cities. It's not a bad idea. Let's get the road. One more build on this guy. We'll get the ivory. We don't actually have that one just yet. What do you want? Yeah, she already doesn't like us. Apparently we settled too close. Yeah, whatever you say. I probably settled closer to my own capital than to her capital. Oh, we found Aaron. I don't think we'll be getting that one, it's a little bit too far away, and on the other side of a mountain. So that seems rather unlikely. Three turns until the rebellion. Dark Age can be a little bit annoying on epic speed. Not to mention Marathon. I will not be playing Marathon. Epic is 
about as high as I'm willing to go. Alright, let's just move out of the city. We'll let it flip. Still got some tiles to repair. Oh, Scythia declared war. And Alexander also declared war. Alright. Didn't quite expect that. But I suppose that's fine. Alexander isn't even remotely close to us. Now I don't want the city to flip. But we don't have much of a choice. We can delay it. No, we can't delay it anymore. Alright. Fine, we'll just retake it really quickly. It doesn't have city walls. So it's not like it's going to be hard to retake it. Not really. Speaking of city walls, let's get city walls in our capital. I don't feel entirely comfortable not having them. As for our governor, which one should we get? We can't get industrialist, which will give us some extra production. Alright, let's get industrialist, that's fine. Every little bit helps as far as production goes. And back we go. We should get the Matterhorn bonus for all our units, but we were going to our city to reconquer it, and now we are also at war with two different sieves, meaning Matterhorn will have to wait, I'm afraid. Now let's just hurry up and retake the city quickly. It shouldn't take long, but we still have to do it, you know. It shouldn't take longer than like three turns, maybe even less than that. More envoys. Geneva. That's a little bit of extra science at least. We might be able to retake it on the next turn. We'll find out. As for the trade route, let's connect our newest city with the road. Seems reasonable. And to get some more mines. Come on, give me my city back. It's not going to be free for very long, I'm just saying. But hey, enjoy your freedom while it lasts. Hey, this will also give us some more unit experience. Which one is closest to promotion? This one is pretty close. There it is, and it's ours again. Obviously keep it. The annoying part is that... The loyalty will be going down still. Which I don't like too much. But it is what it is. Let's move Magnus again. That should actually help, or will it? I think it will. The only downside of doing this is that our buildings are pillaged now. But I can live with that. I think it will be back in the positives now. No. Eight more turns, until another rebellion. Well then, we just have to do something about that. We don't have any policies that increase loyalty just yet. Let me check real quick. Actually, yes, we do have one. But we can't change policies. At least not right now. We'll just have to deal with it. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.